Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Friday tip of the day. For today, we have two extra special guests with me. We have Liz and we have Miss Katie. Miss Katie and Miss Liz, would you like to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, they're my two assistants today. What we are making is, this was inspired um, from the Scrapbook Expo we had gone to earlier this year. We had saw these frames in the Stampin' Up! booth. They're the chicken wire frames, and I thought they would be really fun for us to do. So they're gonna go ahead and walk you through the process right now, okay? Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is after you take apart your frame, you're gonna have, some frames will have some of these little tabs. So you can just fold them over. So just like that. And then you cut your wire to the size you need, and then you're going to start at one end and staple, and let's see how that works. <clears throat> let's just start in the center. I think we... Okay, here we go. Oh, oh that worked! Perfect. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then just do the whole side. Oops. Let's try to... Yeah, let's do that let's side first. Up. Yeah. Watch your fingers. Yeah. Don't staple my <laughs> no, fingers. I don't staple your fingers. <laughs> we need your crafty fingers. And then we're going to go like that. And we're going to do this side. So you want to push that down? Let's see. There you go. I'm going to go right there. Is your hand out of the way? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, no emergency room visits. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. And then I think the best thing to do would be turn, flip it around. And then we need to pull this kind of taunt, I think, but not too much. I think that we, um, like this? Yeah, so it's kind of flat, but I don't want, I don't think we want to lose the shape of the wire. Does oh, that yeah. Look? I that think look, that looks good. Does that look good? Yeah. There's, you could kind of just play with it after, but I think it looks good. That mm -hmm. way, so you want to yeah. taunt. Okay, so I'm going to staple, because I think that one's too close. Right. So I think I'm going to the middle one. Yeah, do you want to pull a little bit tight right there on that middle one so I can... Get the first one started. Yeah. Ready? Okay. How's that? I feel like oh, my life good. is in your hands. Oh, <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm so glad you trust me. Okay. Yeah. With, well, the staple's on this end. There you go. Okay. This is looking really cute. Oh, it does. It, it looks so really fun. And this one's my frame. Yes. <laughs> yes. I said start mine first so mine can be done first. There we go. Okay, oh, then we'll just pick another cool. side. Is this going to fit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, be careful because these are, the wires are really sharp and I think we probably should be using gloves. Um, <laughs> you might want to bend them up a little bit so you... Aren't they going to poke us in? Well, no. Well, you could go back and trim them, Yeah, right? you can trim them afterwards. Just bend them up so when we pull them, they're not scratching. you got to get them tighter, I think. Okay, so I'm going to go right here. Okay. And you want to make sure you go, you don't want to go this way because that's not going to keep it tight. You want to make sure you go, so it's, watch your hand. I don't want to hit that one. So it goes this direction, oh, yeah. so it pulls it. Well, that's perfect. Otherwise, it may not hold it. No. Bless you. <laughs> That's Angel. Let's see. How's this looking? Perfect. Looks okay. good. Good. I think I've watched enough HGTV to work <laughs> this out. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. It's heavy duty stuff. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> You've got the clutz around. So now we gotta do this side. Oops, see, that's gonna kind of bend them up. Oops, look at that one. Yeah. There's some of these are. They are really short. Man, fire the cutter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think gloves would probably have been a well, smart if choice. We could have gotten, we, my husband has safety gloves. We should, <laughs> he really does. For oh, work. Now look, we should see have gotten right here? Okay, it let me zoom on on that so yeah. we can see. 
So when I cut it, um, are you right there? Yeah. So when I cut it, obviously it came. Um, you can probably twist it back to you. Yeah, you can probably twist it, but just or be just careful. Staple Maybe staple that staple part down. Here and here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. But just so when, when you're cutting, you kind of watch out for that kind of stuff. So imagine, oops. Just something to look for. Well, that worked. Yeah. Oh, see, there's no mistakes in a wire craft. Either, <laughs> That's <huh>? right. <laughs> and I feel like we're doing a manly project today. <laughs> yeah. I think I need another one on that end too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except, uh oh, I don't want to get that frame. Katie, can you pull right there? I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to either. <laughs> This oh, is a great gun. I, I like know. this one. Yeah. This is better than my electric one at home. Is that a Home Depot item? You know, and I, mine's an arrow too. I bought that my first year teaching, so it's about 20 years old. Wow. They wow. Make them like Did that, you yeah. start teaching in high school? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, actually, middle school. <laughs> <laughs> we always know that Katie's an overachiever already. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> So I think to trim, this. trim that. Let's go ahead and trim that. Oops. Be Sorry. smarter than the clippers. And I think. Can I turn it? No, actually, this is easier. And the one thing I you might do, which we never even discussed before, is maybe adding a little bit of hot glue to the tips of the um, oh. of here. You know, like after you cut it. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm so it doesn't scratch. Like glue so, so it doesn't, doesn't scratch, scratch, scratch the wall. wall. Yeah. Oh that's yeah. I just thought of that when I was doing this. I'm like, what can we put? Yeah, your brand new paint My brand walls. new paint wall. You know what? I'm wondering if you just put tape right across it. Well, you probably could duct tape. Duct tape. Look at that. And I just oh, happen to have some right there. <laughs> that is hilarious. Wide, but maybe we can yeah. Do. That's right. what I use to put my felt down. Yeah, on you my definitely want to make sure mat. it doesn't show. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna hold this up so we don't scratch on this beautiful table. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom out. That is so cute. Isn't that pretty? Go. Oh, that is so nice. Doesn't that look cool? Mm -hmm. Now let's Very nice. okay. have to show it decorated. Too. Yes, we're yeah. going to go ahead. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just do, there's a, one other part we're going to show you with the, the clothes pins. Okay, so we'll be right back in a second. Okay, this is the part where, um, remember Miss um, Liz just got through saying to use the glue gun, but we, I since this one's my frame that they're working on, I actually decided to just go ahead and use the duct tape and it's much easier. So she's going to um, do that part right now. She already did the two sides, as you can see. So what she's doing, she's just cutting the duct tape right down the center so it won't be um, like la overlapping in the frame part. Okay. I had it going for a minute. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Do you one at a time? Or do you cut them both? Um, you can do both if you hold it tight. I'm trying to. Yes. <laughs> I'm like cutting at a weird angle there. Okay, I'll do the top half and you want to do the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. And then this is where it'll cover up all of those little sharp Oops. edges right there. Can you hold that up for a second? I just realized this is... What do you, what do you um, mean? You're this. So I can bend it up just a little bit to cut it. It's okay. a little too long. That one too, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Now bend them down. Okay. All right, perfect. That way it protects your walls, protects your hands. Oops. I missed one right there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. 101 uses for duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you the clothes pins next. Okay, here we go. We have Miss Katie here. She's going to go ahead and show us how to stamp on our clothes pins. Um, this is how we're going to attach all of uh, my favorite cards to my frame. So we're using the Build a Banner kit, the little houndstooth pattern. And you can see this is how the clothes pin turns out. Hold on, let me Very zoom in. Let me zoom oh, in sorry. for that. Sorry. Zoom in there. 
So while Emma's zooming in, I'm going to ink up my Isn't that stamp cute? <laughs> with some okay. stays on ink. And instead of stamping on here, we thought it'd be easier just to kind of dip it right on. So we're going to push it down. Oops. And there you go. Let's see, put it under. Can't see. Can't Perfect. See Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love so it. So cute. I love it. Okay, we might as well do. Yeah. Yeah, do extra, lots of ink. Ink that up. What a cute idea. Thanks, Liz. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is full of ideas. <laughs> Oh, oh that nice. is so pretty. So we'll let that dry for a second and do our third one. Oops, yeah, don't forget to ink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you could get a new pattern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely it looks like stays on is the best one to use for this. Oh, perfect. 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 Oh, Look my goodness. Look how cute. Oh, perfect. That has a lot to do with the stamps. Now you're going to do the other side? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll do the other side. Just in case you want to. No, yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to do both sides. Okay, so we'll just put that on its side. This one's a little rough on the back, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, see that side didn't work because it's Let not me see, flat. can we get over here? But that's okay, because we only need... Oh, oh that right there. <laughs> there you go, right there. <laughs> okay, you see right there the little part that's... Hold on, yeah. let me zoom in for this so they could see. Yeah. Now, if it, your clothespin's not flat, that's how it will come out. But that's okay because you know what? That's going to be on the back anyway. So right. I don't mind at all. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's it. Cute. Now we're going to go ahead and clip a few of my favorite cards on here. And we'll show you the finished project. The okay, here goes the finished product. Isn't that so super duper cute? What I decided to do was put, remember my little Crafty Diva banner I had created um, a couple of releases ago? What I did was I just went ahead and used my handy dandy <laughs> hot glue gun and I hot glued it to the actual frame. And then we use the little, um, the hound's tooth clothespins. Can you see that? Isn't that perfect? And we use that to put up our card. Anyway, so there goes the pretty hound's tooth um, clothespins holding up. Those are, so this is basically going to be a place for my favorite cards. Of course, I'll be adding more, but I just wanted to show you how cute. This is a perfect addition to your craft room or even as gifts for Christmas coming up for your crafty friends. So thank you so much for joining us for this special Friday tip of the day and I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.